Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about all the things that I've been loving recently. Anything that I can link, I'll link in the description box down below. I have two TV favourites. The first one is Years and Years, which I'm sure many of you have seen. Lots of people have been talking about it. It was on the BBC. It was... I can't remember how many episodes, six, six or eight episodes, I think. And it follows our present day into the future and is a dystopian, but a very realistic, slightly too close to the bone dystopian. And I actually started watching it a month or so ago and had to stop because it was giving me quite a lot of anxiety because it is already based around, it basically just escalates everything that's already happening in the world right this second. So it doesn't take anything to an unbelievable extreme at all um, and yeah it's it's quite a lot but it's definitely worth the watch I didn't love the ending quite so much but I thought that the whole the whole thing was very well done apart from the ending and even though it does feel at points as though the TV show is made specifically as a commentary on what's happening right now as opposed to being about characters and their story I didn't mind that so much it reminded me quite a lot of Ali Smith's novels where she is deliberately choosing a topic so that she can comment on things but also incorporating lots of different aspects into the work too. So I think if you like Ali Smith's work, even though this is very different, thematically it's quite similar. I think you'd enjoy it too. And then the other TV show that I wanted to mention is one that I am so late to but actually I'm really happy that I was late to it because it meant I could watch it all in one go pretty much and that's Killing Eve. I adored it it's so much fun so dark so twisted it is about a woman called Villanelle who is a Russian assassin and she's really badass and also awful <laughs> and it's also about a policewoman in the UK who's recruited by MI6 to try and track her down think murderous lesbians and you're pretty much there and I if I if that doesn't sell it to you then I can't help you um, and I definitely think that you should check it out there are two seasons I love both of them the first season is written by Phoebe Waller-Briggs who wrote Fleabag and I can totally now see why she has been hired to write the new James Bond film because the first season in particular does feel very James Bond e okay so on to other things I can talk to you about I put a picture of this up on Instagram, which is a vase that I got in the anthropology sale. You can get things, I've mentioned I think in favourites videos before, quite cheap in the anthropology sale. So I picked this up for I think about £14 and it was reduced from £30 and I love it. And um, So I'll insert a picture of it here with some flowers in, just, just because but I really, really love this. Um, I also got this, which is maybe a strange thing to include in a favourites video. But in the words of Jenna Marbles, I am now a 32 year old lady and this is how I live my life. So this is a little steamer, which I picked up online, I think for about 20 pounds. I'll link it down below if I can find it. I really don't iron. I do not own an iron or an ironing board, but there are some things in life that actually need to be ironed as much as it pains me to admit it. Um, so Mr. M's shirts for work, etc. cetera, um, you know, and also play suits that are of a silky material. Even my headscarf sometimes they need, not ironing, but they just need steaming a bit. And there's only so much a shower like steam can do. <laughs> so I decided it was about time. I should probably get one of these if I wasn't gonna get an iron. This is fantastic. You just fill it up with water. It takes 30 seconds to boil like a kettle. And then you literally just, I mean, you know how a steamer works. Then you do this over the clothes and they're all straight and lovely within about a minute. It's great. I love it very much. So if you hate ironing like me, maybe you'll love it too. Another favourite, oh this one. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. This is a candle that I picked up from TK Maxx. It's by DW Home. Theirs is the only candle I get because they burn really well. So this is huge and it's one of their, um, do they call them wood wicks? I think so. So instead of a normal wick, it is a wood wick. And that means that when you burn it, it sounds like a fire or like it's raining outside. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. This is burnt vanilla. Um, you can get some of their candles on their website, but I don't think you can get this one because I did check before. But if you're passing a Home Sense or a TK Maxx or a TJ Maxx in the States, check out to see if they have this and have a sniff. It says, as I said, it's burnt vanilla, but to me it smells like tatami mats, so like Japanese houses, which is why I think I love it as much as I do. 
and that's gonna last a long old time because it's so massive. Um, what else? This. Lauren actually introduced me to this from, uh, I was gonna say Reason Daydreams, she's now Lauren Wade Reads. She brought this round because we were, I can't remember why, we were having a meal and I don't drink anymore. I haven't drank for two and a half years now. I used to drink, not loads, but then I found out that I had a non-cancerous tumor friend growing in my liver, so I decided to stop drinking. That wasn't anything to do with drinking, but it just seems like I should be nicer to my liver. So I stopped drinking and I don't miss alcohol like at all because I didn't drink very much. But the one thing I did miss, if anything, was Prosecco. But this is non-alcoholic Prosecco and it tastes exactly like Prosecco. So much so that when Lauren first gave it to me, I didn't believe that it didn't have alcohol in it. So yeah, it, uh, I mean, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I will link it down below. It's five pounds in most supermarkets. You can also get the individual bottles. You know, if you're going to a place where other people are drinking and you don't want to, you can get a little dinky one. And they also do sparkling rosé as well. And it's all really yummy. Next on my favorites list, let's do um, like bath and body stuff. I don't have any bath stuff, but body stuff. This here, which is Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Intensive Care Body Butter. This sinks into your skin faster than any other cream or body butter I've used. I would say that this sinks into the skin faster than a normal thin moisturizer, never mind a body butter. And that's amazing if you're like running late or you just you, you wanna get dressed. You don't wanna be standing around drying off, not water, but body cream for ages. So this is great. It smells like chocolate, kinda, and it's delicious. And I think it's 3.99, which is pretty amazing. I also have bought a couple more of these, and you always ask me, not all of you, obviously, a couple of you ask me each time I make a video what I'm wearing on my lips. I am always wearing these, which are the Bourjois, let me get this right, because it's a long name, Rouge, <laughs> Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvets, and they're all in different shades. I have a lot of them. They stay on all day. If you eat something like a burger, sure, they rub off a little bit, but really not much at all. If you're not eating anything like that, then they tend to stay on and you don't need to reapply. I think they're fantastic. I've picked up, as I said, a couple more colors recently, but I thought I would mention them because lots of people ask what I'm wearing on my lips, and I think they're 5.99. I think. Uh, I'm just looking at my list. What else do we have here? Um, we're nearly at the end. Okay, I've loved doing a new reading and walking vlog, which I started doing last year and hadn't done for about a year, but about two weeks ago, I uploaded a new walking and reading vlog and I did a 10 mile walk around London, including getting on the London water bus, which goes from Little Venice to Camden. Um, I walked through Holland Park and Hyde Park. I walked across Hampstead Heath and I listened to an audiobook. I listened to Case Histories by Kate Atkinson and was stopping to read all the names they use for God by Anjali Sachiva. So if you would like to look at the beautiful scenery of London, see the map of the walk I did and listen to my thoughts on those books. And I'll link that video in the description box down below. Another favorite on YouTube that's nothing to do with my channel is uh, Michaela Towers, I think that's her name. She is amazing, Jean introduced me to her. She's proper old school YouTube, like real old school YouTube. And she turns fabric, <laughs> it sounds like it's magic, but it kind of is, she turns fabric into clothes, right? But not just any fabric. There's one video that she did where she found an old sofa just on the street and decided that she would turn it into a suit. I'm gonna show you that here because I just can't get over it. And she makes these tutorials, but they're not really tutorials for you to follow because they're just really hilarious. They're sped up, so satisfying to watch. I've watched all of her old videos and I'm very excited to see what she does next because I just think she's a bit amazing. So if you would like some quality YouTube content, then please go and check out her channel. And then finally, the last thing on my favourites list is this, which is Unstable Unicorns, which Jean introduced me to as well. She just introduces me to all of my favourite things. And this is a card game, which, I mean, I'm trying to think of what I can compare it to. I don't know if I can really compare it to something else, but the tagline is, build a unicorn army, betray your friends, unicorns are your friend now. So you have cards in your hand and you have to create a stable in front of you. So every go you get to play a card into your stable. The aim of the game is to have seven unicorns in your stable at the end. 
but there are magic cards that are quite destructive so you can kill other people's unicorns you can swap things around it's just also really really flipping cute all of the unicorns are ridiculous so you can have basic unicorns um, you can have a unicorn on the cob there's a mermaid unicorn I bought a dragon expansion pack it's really good fun and super adorable so if that sounds like a cup of tea I'll also link it down below highly recommend I think I did this video in one take I haven't done that in a very long time I say it's because Jean's here and she's working over there so I'm trying not to mess up and I didn't excellent famous last words and all that okay so I'm gonna go everything I can link I'll link down below let me know what you've been enjoying recently and I'll speak to you all very soon lots of big stuff Bye. That's a challenge, the one take challenge. Woo! Is it? Yeah, you should just be like, I totally did that on purpose. I totally did that on purpose. <laughs>